there is an observed relationship between the amount of available money sloshing around the global economy and the price of all assets. And just like high blood pressure with some parts of your body, it makes things rise. Think about it like this. If most households are more or less balanced between the amount of income coming in and the amount of income going out, if they handle their money really well and there's more money that comes to them, they're more likely to invest than someone who is bad with their money. This is one of the reasons why those who already have assets get more assets as time goes on. And that has a spillover effect into other countries as well. So when you have major economies like the European and then the US markets, all kind of on fire at the same time, that can create quite a surplus of new money in the system all at once. Since the global financial crisis of 2008, we've had correlation between the Bitcoin halving cycle, the election cycle, the business cycle, and even the property cycle. They all go up and they all go down roughly in the same way.